What's going on, everybody? My name is David Delano, one of the expert handicappers with winnersandwiners.com. Also, writer with winnersandwiners.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Get Sports Strong, and also make sure to follow winnersandwiners.com or Winners and Winners on Twitter as well. Here with a NFL pick for you guys for today for Sunday, September 18th, 2022. Uh, before we go ahead and recap, make sure to check out some of the other uh, winners and winners, expert handicappers. I think yesterday everybody won on their free pick except for me. Uh, Scott Steen had over, I believe, the total in the Appalachia State Troy State game. Arthur Reyes had um, Ohio State Buckeyes covering the spread. Mason Foltz had over in that uh, Charlotte Georgia State game. So uh, make sure to go ahead and check those guys out. Uh, they're doing some good things over there. I know uh, Mason in particular, I think he's like on a, I don't know, he's on a stupid run, like 45 and 13 or something like that. So make sure to uh, check it out as I look to get back in the win column myself today. Um, don't like having losing days. And overall, as bad as it felt, it was a two and three day overall, which is not good. Um, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. First of all, starting off with the positive, you only have my best bets. I had um, five plays. I had a best bet, one play in Major League Baseball, and a best bet in college football. And the best bets hit on both of them. Um, it wasn't easy for the White Sox, but they did win. So that was another best bet winner in Major League Baseball. And then the Northern Illinois Huskies and Vanderbilt uh, Commodores, my best bet in college football was over the total. It went over in the third quarter. Not much happened in the fourth quarter, but it did go over in the fourth quarter. So we got off to a nice start. Um, I did have the Marshall Thundering Herd, minus 16 and a half against Bowling Green. Marshall was up 14 early. Things were looking good, fell apart. Marshall ended up losing that game outright in overtime. And... Um, had over the total in the game between Maryland and SMU. Um, I had got that early in the week at over 69. Um, that one was, was close. If, uh, if SMU could have got the ball in the end zone at the end there and not gone for two. But um, that one, yeah, it didn't hit. And then, of course, the free pick that I gave, I was wrong as wrong could be. Hate being off like that, especially when there were so many other games to play. Um, that I was contemplating with and picked the wrong one, obviously, as I did not believe in the Washington Huskies, and I was wrong about that. I got to own that. They took it to Michigan State, and I was completely wrong on that free pick. So um, we're going to go ahead and get into it today. There's a link in the pro in the description for the best promo that I have that will save you money on one of the other Cabers packages or on my packages um, right now, we did go four and one last week to open up the NFL regular season. Five and one on my football best bets, um, still and still on top of the leaderboard. So two and three day yesterday, not a great day. Looking to bounce back today. Outside of the free pick that I gave yesterday for an NFL game, and outside of the free pick that I'm giving today, I do have five side plays over there in the NFL, including an NFL best bet, and I also have a Major League Baseball best bet. Um, I know it's football time, but I've been cashing on these baseball tickets, and I do have a, a, ba a baseball best bet today, and it's not the Mets run line, and it's not the Braves run line, and it's not the Astros run line. Not that there's anything wrong with those picks, but it's not. I know there's a lot of huge, huge favorites, and it's one that you may not be thinking of. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Let's get into the pick. There's just so much to um, talk about. And I'm going to go with the game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, right now, you got the total in this game at 41.5. And, and I'm seeing that Dallas is a 7.5 point favorite. Sorry, Cincinnati's a 7.5 point favorite. Dallas is a 7.5 point underdog. Now, I like the total in this game. And I like over 41 and a half points. Now, I understand that the uh, trends lately are under, under, under. But here's the thing. The Cowboys were first in the NFL last year. They averaged 31.2 points per game last season. The Bengals were seventh, averaging 27.1. The Bengals allowed just over 22 points a game on defense. Dallas allowed just over 21. Now, I understand 
Um, the receivers changed. I understand. I fully understand that Dak Prescott is out and that Cooper Rush is starting. But this total last week, a week ago, was at 51. And now it's at 41 and a half. So Dak gets hurt. You insert Cooper Rush. The Bengals only put up 20 points, and it drops 9.5 points. For one, the Bengals only scored 20 points last week against the Steelers. They did have a um, failed extra point attempt that was blocked, and they turned the ball over five times. They, uh, had, 30, they, uh, they had 32 first downs compared to 13 for Pittsburgh. I don't want to get this too long, but I want to explain here because I know some people may not like this over. Um, they outgained uh, Pittsburgh 432 yards to 267 yards. I think the Bengals are going to have a – they're not going to turn the ball over five times again. I really don't think they're going to turn the ball over five times again. I think they're going to have a better offensive showing. I think Dallas is going to have a better offensive showing too. I know Cooper Rush didn't look good last week, but neither did Dak Prescott. They're not going to look that bad again. And the thing with Cooper Rush, he was good in his only start last season. But here's a guy who he hasn't played much, but he's been in the NFL with Dallas since 2017. I know there was a brief up period there where he was cut, um, you know, on a different practice squad. But basically his career, he's been with the Cowboys since 2017. So he's not, this is not one of those end of the um, season things where a guy's like on his couch or he's working at the grocery store and they, and they call him in there. I mean, he's been preparing since 2017 with this team. I think that he's going to be competent. Um, Zeke Elliott didn't run the ball bad last week. I mean, he, he had 52 yards on 10 carries and to stop running the ball. I just think that this total is too low. I mean, I think that um, this is going to be one of those plays where there's going to be a lot of people who took the under in this game and made a good play when it was at 51, when it was at – but it's not now at 41 and a half. This is – all the value in the total at this point is in the over. And even looking at the Bengals as a seven and a half point favorite, I mean, it's basically saying Dallas can't Dallas can't score more than 14 points in this game. And I think that Dallas does. I actually, I think that uh, both teams get to 20 points in this game and think that this game is going to go, I could go even deeper, but I won't. Over 41 and a half in the game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Dallas Cowboys is your free pick. Hopefully better than um, the Washington, Michigan State pick. Um, God bless everybody. I've got uh, five side plays over there, including an NFL best bet going on that um, we're not in the uh, free pick videos. And I also have Major League Baseball best bet. Looking to have a, a bounce back day from my um, awful two and three day. God bless everybody. Let's get it and good luck on whatever you're playing.